I bet you're wondering who my dentist is. Not Carl Franz. Nope, not him. There he is. He's seen better days. Ooh, much better days. Now, I don't know about you, but I've had just about enough of Andy and all his For the Empire rubbish. What we need is a hearty meal of murder and mayhem spanning the width and breadth of these immortal empires. See what I did there? There's Andy, the git. We've got a gentleman's agreement not to interfere with each other's AI battles, but I'll be cheering for his defeat all the same. You may have guessed it, our goal is to murder our way to Reichland and kick down Andy's sandcastle. But to do that, we'll need an army and vassals, and souls, and something called tactics. Oh, hang on. Alrighty, we've got tactics. That was easy. Let's build the army. Right, what are the gods offering? Hell cannon, don't mind if I do. Pink horrors, yes please. Hmm, bloodletters, plague bearers, or demonettes. What do you think, tactics? That load of good you are, bloodletters it is! Submit. Now, Bellicor's whole shtick is upgrading warbands, reaping souls for godly boons, enthralling the world, yada yada yada. As souls are the demonic equivalent of bread and butter, we'll work towards culling the weak for the additional 20% to souls harvested in battles. From there, we'll need to decide which ruinous powers units we'll want to prioritize, but for now, this bird thing's looking at me funny. I, I'm gonna stab it! We stabbed the bird thing, now we're gonna take its home. Nest? Does each live in a nest? Climb the walls, kill the things, easy peasy. Yep, that guy gets it. Albion is ours. By taking Quanquata, we vassalized the Van Hamlings and continued to the Citadel of Lead where the Sightless got the same treatment. As a demon yes. prince and a champion of chaos both, Bellacor has access to all four gifts of chaos. There's some pretty impressive boons to be had, but we're working on a surprise for Andy and so we'll be trying to sacrifice the majority of our hard-earned souls to Corn and Nurgle so we can unlock the big treats quicker. For now, we'll activate Death Bounty and Bloom of Decay, both being perfect for growing our fledgling economy, provided the blood keeps flowing. Speaking of flowing blood, we've had a nice taste of murder to whet our appetite and Bellicor's grown as a person. Whilst our lovable champion self-actualizes, we get to go shopping. Now, I like the look of Lord of Torment, especially if we couple it with Whispers in the Darkness to create a self-healing terror machine. But let's be honest, the entire rose good eats. We'll need more ranks to unlock these tasty snacks, so for now we'll grab some spells, campaign movement and dominating presence for the increase to unit experience. With the Warband's upgrade mechanic, we'll need to feed our units with all the experience they can swallow. That's a lot of food-based puns going on, am I hungry? But whatever. With tactics, we'll be employing a similar tactic, and pump points into training whenever possible. In the meanwhile, let's mould him into his namesake and create a one-man wrecking ball. Ah, tactics. The art of war indeed. Now, where to go? Of course, Reichland's the goal, but the journey's just as fun, and to the southeast we find Bretonnia. Tasty mortal souls, though they possess, they're just a bit too close to Andy, and killing them doesn't unlock any of our unholy manifestations. Southwest, then, where we find Ulfwan and Nakari seducers of Slanesh, attempting direction not only because they're a part of our short campaign victory. And whilst demons don't possess souls, the elves do. We could even claim the Sword of Cain if we wanted to. Hmm. Or we go north, into the Chaos Wastes where we find no shortage of demon foe to slaughter and, better still, lesser Chaos Champions to crush. 
but few souls, and no pointy sword to claim. Any one of these directions would work, and honestly the Sword of Cain is tempting, but for now our priority is vassals and souls of which the Norskan Mountains is offering in a mouth-watering buffet. This will be our route into Kislev and Reichland. We'll use these pitiful mortals to raise the grandest army the world's ever known. Eh, maybe. We'll see how the economy goes. I've seen Andy's video, so I know what he's up to. A united empire will be a challenge, but I've never met an Andrew I couldn't kick in the shins and run away from. It's about time we got this murder machine rolling. Come on, Tactics, it's time to earn your nurgling soup. First stop on the Soul Train Express is Wolfric's World Walkers, which sounds like the best pale ale in Norway. Yeah, a Pyrrhic victory, but in Belakor's defence they had mammoths. And he loves mammoths. Experience for me or thee? Second stop on the Soul Train Exp- oh, okay. I'm going to summon the Elector Counts to your funeral, Andrew. Let's take our frustrations out on the Magfarlands, adding them and Doomkeep to our steadily growing list of assets. Ooh, little network of portals never hurt anyone. We'll need to find a way to unlock the other unholy manifestations before we take on the Empire. We'd especially benefit from the Blood God's Grudge and the Dark Prince's Secret. Attack bonuses and immediate damage to an enemy's army? I'll take one of each, please. Lord of now, belakor has got a trick up his sleeve. A devilish trick called the Harbinger, in which human lords can be corrupted into becoming demon princes when defeated in battle or targeted by heroes. Admittedly, it's got some specific requirements, but I'm a glass half full sort of fella, so I'm hoping these heroes can sow some demonic seeds ahead of our foray into Kislev in the Empire. Shadows come for you, and I am their lord! Ah, rat folk. Mm, sure, let's trade. I'll need all the money I can get my grubby mitts on if I want to build the surprise. With five vassals and a healthy economy, it's time we grew our army. Who to pick? Mm, okay. Oh, no, he can run fast. He wins. I mean, I said a healthy economy, not a lavish one. We'll grow over time. Oh, no, it's Andy. Oh, okay, he's attacking. That wasn't part of the plan. Oh, he's got mortars. Right. Uh, okay, let's prepare. Right, trade some units, I guess. Oh, too many options. No, right, let's upgrade tactics. Choose path. Tactics. Total war revolve to red. Uh, whilst I was panicking, Andy left. So, you know, we're just going to keep on killing stuff. The souls are resisting our benevolent rule, and the Wintertooth tribe are friendly-ish, but big. We can't vassalize them in one fell swoop like other Norskans, but we could subjugate them after a lengthy war. Is it worth it when our goals lie elsewhere? Probably not. Diplomacy it is. Hi, frog. You're looking especially disgusting today. The Wintertooth's teeth? Whatever. Frog's not happy that we're at war with Azazel, but he's no fan of the Ice Court. Nor the Dowie. And honestly, we don't much like them either, and we'll soon be going to war with them anyway, so let's offer to join Frog and see if we can't earn the big lad's favour. Lovely. In a few turns, we'll try our luck with a trade deal and see where we go from there. For now, though, young Azazel and his ecstatic legions are standing between us and Sol's subjugation. Rival Chaos Champions are fair game in my estimation, and I want his house. In other words, Sol's mate. Oh no. 
Oh, I was in March. Oh. Andy, can we reload? <laughs> Valiant defeat. Okay, now let's, we can do it. Let's fight this. Oh, God. Okay, so our big asset here is the hill, and since Azazel attacked, he's got to come to us. Unfortunately, because we we're in March, our units were already tired, so we'll dig in here and hope for the best. Would be nice if we had more missile units, but we were betrayed. Looks like he's waiting for reinforcements before making his move. Smart demon. All right, he's trying to flank us, but we've got horses in the trees. Whilst we hold the hill, our missile cav and warhounds are going to sow some chaos in their back lines. Ooh, they're pushing heavy on our left flank. If we're not careful, they'll break through and go for the pink horrors. Oi, give my aspiring champion back. Azazel's broken through, but that just means he's isolated. Now's our chance to swarm him. And there it is. Azazel's down for the count. They've still got another Lord, so the battle's far from over, but we just might have a chance now. Yes! Yes! Get them! Well then, that was an ordeal. Won't be making the same mistake twice. Great. Azazel's defeated and L2Pay is going to lick his wounds for a bit. Ooh, enforce confederation or vassalize. Do we want souls or Azazel under our thumb? Tactics, opinions? Okay, you're still useless, that's good to know. Let's occupy and vassalize. Whilst Bellacor brings some culture to Kislev, l 2 pays off to the Northern Chaos Waste where Slanesh and Korn factions roam. His job's to gather souls and unlock the outstanding unholy manifestations. Hey Tactics, play epic montage soundtrack. Nope, uh, uh, the other one, the other one. Thank you. Nicely done, Tupé. Bellacor's turn. What? Yeah, I will take that one soul. I'm gonna savor it. Mm. Oh, hold on, hold on. Tactics, stop the music. Oh my god. I got an achievement! You may think that. Anyway, death to Prague. Grow up so fast. El is on his way to Ascendance and we're inching ever closer to the surprise. I love it when an ally declares war on another ally. 
Oh, the rats already hate me, so. C'est la vie. Am I using that right? Hey, look, Wolfric's back. Never Don't die this time, die. please. The gods. <gasps> it's happening. Shut up. In ten terms, this wonderfully lucky Kislevite is welcomed into our fold. We must protect him. The surprise demands it. To safety! Here we go, our demon prince is ready to pop. And there he is, beautiful. Now we begin, all the souls harvested and sacrificed all for this one army, a gift for Andrew. Ah, oh, 